Ah, winter, every equestrian's favourite season. We think of snow, we think of beautiful frosty mornings, or actually, do we think of mud and endless days of mucking out? Welcome to the reality of owning horses in winter. So whilst we may paint a picture perfect life on Instagram, the reality is not always quite as good because yes, we would absolutely love to enjoy winter, love to enjoy the privilege of owning these amazing horses, but actually winter is really tough for equestrians. We of course start our day bright eyed and bushy tailed. The moment that alarm goes off, we're up excited to see our horses ready to muck out yet another stable. Yeah, it doesn't really go like that. Okay, so maybe bright-eyed and bushy-tailed was a little bit of a stretch. We're grumpy, we're cold, no one wants to get up in winter, so I will be snoozing that alarm at least three times. Sorry ponies, you are staying in the stable a little bit longer this morning. But no one wants to get up in winter, it is horrible weather outside and getting out of a nice warm bed is just not the one. However, when we do finally find the off button instead of the snooze, it's obviously time to get up. You know, you've got horses to feed, things to do. Or maybe you just sit on TikTok for another half an hour. However, once we have finally made it out of bed, it's time to chuck on that entirely matching outfit that will be matching a saddle pad to later. Our hair is washed, it's definitely not had a bottle of dry shampoo in it, and we're ready to start the day. No, so in reality, I look like this. I've probably got dressed in the dark, nothing matches, but I'm running late because I spent too much time watching TikToks. However, the winter equestrian cannot just go outside. You need to prepare yourself. You need plenty of layers. I start with a fur headband. If you see me in winter, I'm wearing a fur headband. It's just not optional. Then you want to add at least about three to four layers until you can't really bend your arms. That's the optimal amount of layerage. Once you've got the desired Michelin man look, you are ready for the day to be taking off layers as you start mucking out. And speaking of mucking out, because you stayed in bed so long, your pony has kindly destroyed his stable for you. Now I can't be the only equestrian that feels like they spend half their life mucking out during the winter. It is just again and again and again and again. Now of course our Instagram equestrian is making sure that their bed is perfectly straight, that it looks absolutely immaculate, you've got to get those tap to tidies ready on stories. 
Whereas mine kind of looks a little bit like this. It's clean, it's just not very straight. Now for the most important part of my day at least, it may not be every equestrian, but I have to have at least five, six cups of tea a day. It's freezing outside, so this is the way I keep warm. I always thought it was a Yorkshire thing, apparently it's an equestrian thing as well. So going from my favourite thing to do, drink tea, to my least favourite thing to do and that is filling all of the hay nets. Now obviously I have seven horses, that's a lot of hay nets but I think we can all agree it is just the most boring and tiresome job ever and also you get absolutely caked in hay. No matter what I've done, even if I've not filled hay nets that day, I put my coat on, I grab literally handfuls of hay out of my pockets, down my boots, you name it, there's hay there. I take clothes off that I've not even worn to the stables and hay is dropping off them. I'm just a walking, talking ball of hay and sawdust and shavings at this point. So of course, over on Instagram, all of other horses are beautifully white, they're clean, there's not a stable stain in sight. Reality is, uh, not quite like that. As you can see, Smoke is actually quite clean at the moment. I'd say this is rather clean for him, but he is a fan of the stable stains. His mane's really long, his legs are really fluffy. We're going for the O Natural look at the moment because basically if I clip him, he just gets more crazy. And I don't know about you guys, but I always find in winter, my horses are all a bit crazy to ride. I don't know if it's the wind, I don't know if it's the fact that they live in on an evening, but yeah, we don't need to add to the crazy. He is due a bath, that is for sure, but I'm trying my best at the moment to not over bath him. I have a really bad habit of always trying to keep smoky white, and I have just accepted that it is natural for him to be dirty. He's not particularly the biggest fan of being bat, he will stand there and put up with it but it's not something he particularly enjoys so it's something I'm trying to not do too much of. Um, I do obviously groom him every single day and as you can see he would much sooner I didn't. <laughs> He's not a fan of being clean and tidy at all which is just the reality of winter. They aren't going to be white, they're not going to be sparkling, they're going to be muddy, they're going to have stable stains. You can't avoid it. I go to the horses and I come back absolutely filthy and they're out in those conditions all day every day so they're not going to be the cleanest. One thing I always do say to people though is that you should never judge a horse by you know how white it is, how stain free it is. My two ponies that live out, so Charlie and Taffy, they get groomed once a week and they are always filthy because they live out completely in winter unless it's really bad conditions. But both of them are traditional so they're not rugged up, they have really thick coats so the best thing for them is to go out and enjoy the mud. They both love winter. So yeah, sometimes muddy is best. So I do spend a lot of my winter brushing, trying to keep the horses as clean as I can and mainly trying to keep on top of manes, especially in the wind. So as you can see, Smokey's mane's looking very long. He's definitely overdue a groom. He's definitely overdue a good haircut. And it's really just a case of keeping the top layer of mud off Unless you have got a solarium and a hot shower like I have on the livery, it's kind of impossible to bath them during winter. I do hot cloth the ones at home, but that's probably about as far as it goes. And I don't know about you guys, but I end the groom looking a lot more filthy than the horse did initially. So as we know, mud is probably the biggest burden during winter to an equestrian because it is just everywhere, especially if like me you have clay land. Our paddocks do get turned over very easily and sadly we don't have enough grazing to rotate. So this happens every year but it always comes back in spring. However, it does mean that when I'm going to check the fields, going to poop it, going to put hay out, I have to do what I call my mud waddle to make sure that none of my wellies get stuck in the mud. So here I am demonstrating my beautiful mud waddle and Chilly thought he'd take over as cameraman for this part. 
some absolutely wonderful angles there. Thank you, Chili. So, so helpful. So winter's winter. It's never great weather, otherwise it'd be summer. So yes, we have lots of rain, but the reality is that you're out there no matter the weather. It doesn't matter if it's raining, snowing, hailing. We're out there because the horses still need to be fed. They still need everything doing. Poo picking still needs to be done. So this is how I spend the majority of my days. Freezing, soaked wet through. I'm praying for a day that I can actually ride the horses. Because whilst I'm no fair weather rider, I'm sure as hell not riding in a storm. However, every now and again it does clear up a little bit or we have a nice frosty morning where the arena's not frozen, nothing's going wrong and you can actually get your bum in that saddle. Which, let's face it, for the most of us is the reason we have horses. It's so that we can enjoy riding them. Although enjoy is maybe a stretch in winter, I don't know about you guys, but my horses seem to be a little bit more spicy in winter. I don't know if it's the fact that they're in the stable a bit more, a bit more energy, you know, the weather's not that great, it's been a bit windy, we're feeling a bit wound up, or a mixture of all of those. But I do tend to find my horses are a little bit more spicy, a lot more forward, and spookiness is kind of through the roof. Or if you're an absolute lunatic like myself, you take your pony to his first ever arena eventing clinic in the middle of winter when he's not really been worked very much and he's feeling rather spicy. Now, in all fairness, it did start off very well. As you can see, we were jumping ditches. I was like, who is this pony? Because let me tell you, it's not long before the spicy pony remembers it's winter and that it's time to jazz things up a little bit. But don't worry guys, it's now less than 30 days till spring. It's so close, I can almost touch that hacking. I'm dreaming of summer days, green grass and lots of fun. So hang in there, I hope you've all enjoyed this video. I hope it's given you a little bit of a giggle or at least put a smile on your face to laugh and share some of the moments that we all have to go through as equestrians this winter. If you did enjoy, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the bell icon so you get a notification every single time I post and I'll see you all very soon for my next video. Bye guys! <laughs>